guys, Sneeze here. We're going to be playing as Fenrir and Assault. Teaming up with the Kronos, Agni, Anubis, and Freya. Um, I'm feeling confident in this game because the opposing team's really squishy. Really, really squishy. I can pick on the Agni. I can pick on the Vulcan, the Isis, and the Nuwa. Uh, Thor might be the beefy one, but we'll see how this goes. We'll go ahead and put as many ranks as possible into the three, the Brutalize right here. We have Fenrir's one Unchained, we have his two Seething Howl, we have his ultimate Ragnarok. It's probably the coolest, coolest ult in the game. <laughs> there we go, easy kill. Go ahead and pop. Well, just hit me. <laughs> what? I, oh, I must have been uh, Vulcan's Magnum Bomb. So let's go ahead and take a look at this enemy team. No beads. <laughs> no beads. Awesome. This game is in my favor right now. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why, it's just Isis is just, she's just there, you know, probably picking on Isis. Uh, oof. <laughs> oh man, he dashed forward. That's too funny. That I turned the death. Oh, yeah. Ah, Vulcan in your magna bomb. An ally has been slain. You have been slain. Yeah, my teammates are not on the same page. Team's not really doing anything. They're not using their ultimate. Uh, the person that should be poking is Agni. I mean, if you're ranged and you have a a really OP ultimate with your with your bombs, you should really take advantage of that. Poke, poke, poke. been slain double kill killing spree <laughs>
2v1 now Retreat. it's <laughs> now it's not in your favor set up an ambush here yes so who else has beads other than Vulcan at me? Oh, that's not even fair. Can't even stand. Or did he drop down already? Where's Thor? Good game. 
did Anubis just ult? That's all we had to do is just an Anubis ult to kill the Titan? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, GG. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to... You want to even it out. You know, you want to get the forehead. You want to get the nose. You want to get all the oily, oily areas of the face. Even out the makeup, okay? You want to even it all out. Make sure there's no blotches. Because there's nothing worse than being on TV and you have a blotchy makeup. Makeup-y face, you know? You just... Right now. We're live right now. No countdown. No nothing. Are you serious right now? This is embarrassing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to News Break. My name is Max Powers, your host for the evening. We just witnessed another great game by Sneeze on you. Wow, what a game. Uh, let's take a look at his items right here. We have Jotun's Wrath right here. He was going for the uh, for the cooldown, I believe. You know, it gave him additional 40 physical power, additional 150 mana, additional 11 physical penetration, you know, obviously the passive, your ability cooldowns are reduced by 25%, another great, great first item, then he went with uh, some more CDR with the Ninja Tabai, then he went with a little bit of a tanky item right here with the Bulwark of Hope, giving him additional 450 health, additional 60 magical protection, I mean, this is a really heads up really heads up item right here if you're facing four not one not two not three but four magical gods this is a great item right here it gave him additional health and it gave him magical protection then he went with the crit item with the death bringer additional 50 physical power additional 20 percent critical strike chance really good item really good item uh then i think he was going with another crit item so total physical power was 130 for his active items he had a link so he could blink into action and use his ultimate turn into a big dog and bring that enemy towards his teammates when he went with the aegis pendant a really good item he really respected the other team's abilities right here because they were dangerous. Isis, Vulcan, Thor, Nuwa, Agni. Really, really powerful abilities that these gods possess. But uh, it's it's really tough being a melee god going up against four ranged magical gods, even if you have a protection item. So let's go to a call right now. Caller, what I want you to do is I want you to explain what was the process that Sneeze on you went through because he was definitely four and five. How did he go from 4 and 5 to 16 and 8? I mean, there had to have been something that just, like a light switch, just just flickered and changed the the way that he approached this game. Go ahead, you're live on Newsbreak. We've made too many compromises already. Too many retreats. They invade our space, and we fall back. They assimilate entire worlds, and we fall back. Not again. The line must be drawn here, this far, no farther. I will make them pay for what they've done. Fortunately, that wraps it up for us here at Newsbreak. My name is Max Powers. Thank you again for joining us. And make sure to check us out later on. GG.